What's up guys, Alex here back with another tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys how to do the RGB split effect in Sony Vegas. Now before we actually start, uh, you want to make sure you have either Vegas Pro 10 or 11 because in those two versions of Vegas Pro, uh, you have the stereoscopic option enabled because we're going to be using that to actually create the RGB effect. So if you have Movie Studio Platinum or Sony Vegas Pro 8 or 9, then you can't do this effect. So uh, I've seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube uh, for this effect, and a lot of them I've seen use a really different method because the way they do it is they create multiple copies or three copies of the video clip, and they set the compositing modes to add, and they just crop it to animate it and for me that this process takes uh, too long compared to the process I made myself and so you don't really want to use this if you want to save some time so we're just going to delete this and you want to go ahead and go into your project video properties which is this little icon right here and you want to select the stereoscopic 3D mode now we're going to be using any of these three anaglyphic presets and you want to choose two color sets that you want to use for the video example I used red slash uh, cyan color of course you can use the other two if you want now before we actually apply this the thing is with the stereoscopic 3D mode enabled uh, once you apply it it's going to drain away all the colors from your video or actually most of them. So if I hit apply, you will notice that the colors for my video are pretty much gone. So I'm just going to hit OK and we're going to fix the video so that the colors are returned to normal. So go to your video effects and go to saturation adjust and apply the default plugin and we're going to increase the amount and decrease the sensor because we want to apply this to the entire video not just on a specific region and for the spread we're going to increase it all the way you can change the lows or highs if you want but I'm just going to keep it at zero and some of the colors returned you can return all the original colors if you uh, play around with the settings of the saturation adjust alright now on to the actual effect this is actually a video effects that comes with Vegas and it's called the stereoscopic 3D adjust. It's in your video effects. Get the default plugin and drag it onto your video. Now the main thing, the actually the main option in this plugin that we're going to be changing is the horizontal offset. So once you alter this value, you're going to notice the effect is starting to take place. So you have the red and blues, and that's basically the RGB effect. Uh, all the other options are the vertical offset, which is pretty self-explanatory. These two colors are offsetting vertically. You can change the zoom. Change the keystone. Or even change the rotation of uh, the two separate RGB colors. Now the way we're going to animate this is I'm just gonna sync it to a song like this one. So that song. Uh, so basically to sync this, all you have to do is uh, click on the animation button for the horizontal offset and just click anywhere on the timeline I guess and uh, create a new keyframe. Go ahead, forward, increase or decrease the horizontal offset. 
So if you increase the horizontal offset, it's going to go a different direction. If you decrease the value, it's going to go into a different direction. And I'm just going to keyframe the rotation and vertical offset. So pretty much all of this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I know this is a really bad tutorial, but all of this animation is really up to you. There's no real method on how to do it. And for an example, let's preview the animation. And there we go. So that's how you do the basic RGB split effect in Sony Vegas. And of course, one thing to note is that since you're using uh, two really CPU intensive plugins, it's going to take a pretty long time to render out. So if you are worried about render times, uh, I suggest not to use this effect and use the other method instead. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. Again, if this video helped you, please give it a like and a comment. And if you want, you can add me on Twitter. I'll put a link to my Twitter in the description. So I'll see you guys next time.